high greedy 3D is. I think it's easy sometimes to forget the beginners and we talk about all the advanced stuff and we show you all the painting but sometimes we just forget how to show people how to go from start to finish so that's what I want to try and rectify today. I'm going to start off with an STL file today and show you how you transcribe through the whole process to an end result of this bad boy here, this Spider-Man head. I'll show you how I printed it all, where I got it from, how I transferred it across to the printer. We'll talk about the whole process. Now if you like what you see today, please tune into the Greedy 3D again, subscribe to the channel. You can join our Patreon scheme if you want to, but most importantly I hope you enjoy what you see today. Leave some comments, like, subscribe and share it with your friends and I'll show you how I made this from scratch. <music> So let's go through the process from start to finish. First thing you need to do is find the file. I found the file on Thingiverse. It's called the Venom Symbiotic Spider-Man Web Only Let's Retract. Strange name, fantastic file, and there it is. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download this file. So just choose Download Files here, click it. Now it will ask you there if you want to tip the designer. If you want to tip the designer, that's absolutely fine. Um, whatever you decide to do there, the file will download, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner. And the next thing you're going to need to do is open the file. Now, you're going to need to unzip it because it comes down as a zip file. Now, I use something called BreeZip. You don't need to use this. You can use anything you like. But I'm going to double click where the file is, which is in there. There it is. That's what it's called. And I need to extract this file. So let me select it. Let me click extract. I'm going to tell, tell it where I'm going to extract it to. So I'm going to extract it to the desktop there. Uh, let me find a folder. Let's call it uh, Spider-Man MJ. Let's, let's do a new folder, actually. Right mouse click. New folder. And let's call it Spidey Head. And let's select that folder. And let's extract. And that has now extracted the whole file into the new folder that we've made. So we can close this down now. So now we will move to the folder called Spidey Head. And in there you will see, there it is. So what I need to do now is open it. Now it's already set for Cura, as you can see the little emblem there. But let's do it the other way. Let's open up Cura and let's tell it where the file is. So open, it's in Spidey Head. It's in a couple of these files here. And there we go. Now for my printer, I don't want it that small. I want it nice and big. So I know that I can make it bigger than that. And there's two ways to make it bigger. You can either click on the file. And in that sort of uh, scale selection on the left there, you can tell it how big you want it. So let's just say 200%. Click enter and it will make it 200%. Now I want it even bigger than that. I want it to 365. I know that. But the other way I can do it is to grab these little coloured markers and drag them out. And that will also make it bigger. Now I want it to be 369, I think, about 360, 369, because I know that's the biggest I can get it on my build plate. Now if I go bigger, you can see how it's yellow here. You can see how the file is a nice yellow color. If I go too big, it shows you that it won't fit. So reduce it down so that it does fit. And for me, that's 369. For you, it might be a little different. So if you choose the number you want, there we go. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slice it. Now this file does not need supports. It will print without supports. I've set the fill to 100. Now you don't need to do that, but I've set it to 100 for this one. Normally if you're making big prints, you don't want it at 100 because it will mean 100% infill and we don't want that. But for this one, because it's not using supports and it's quite thin and narrow, I'm going to use 100%. And I've turned the supports off and I'm just using a normal setting of 0.15. So the next thing I do then is I slice the file little bit of patience while the file slices and it hasn't taken too long because there's not that much to it and once it slices you will then see that it will tell you how much filament you're going to use and how long it will take so I'm going to use 99 grams and it's going to take 17 hours and 45 minutes so in theory and I don't know how completely accurate this is on a one kilogram roll I can make 10 of these which is not bad really is it so once I've done that and it's ready to slice it's been sliced there's the time there's how much resin it's going to take i'm going to save it to disk and i'm going to save it to my desktop and i'm going to call it spidey head now i could just save it straight to the folder or the file that i'm going to put into my printer but i'm going to save it to the desktop for this video 
Once I've inserted the micro SD card for the Anycubic Viper, I'm going to drag the file across to that micro SD card, and then it's time to leave the computer and head across to the printer itself. Okay, so let's take this nice red Spider Man E PLA filament, and this is a little bit of uh, Sunlu PLA filament, and we're going to use this one today. So uh, it will always come with the end protected, and it's really important that you too protect the end. So I'm just going to make sure that I carefully pull that off. Now don't let that go, because if you, as soon as you let that go, what will happen is it will unravel and you'll have all sorts of problems moving forward. So keep it nice and tight there. Just for the end of it, I just want to cut a little bit off the end of it there, just to, at a little bit of an angle, you might notice. Bear with. There we go. So I've cut it off at a little bit of an angle and I'm going to feed this in to my machine. Now all machines will be different. I'm using the Anycubic Viper and I just need to feed it through the runout sensor, feed it into the Bowden tube. So it's being drawn through now and what you will see when it's ready at the printhead, when it's gone all the way through the Bowden tube, is it will come out here out of the uh, actual extruder. So let's just see that happen. So it will get rid of that nasty black that's in there and it will extrude until I tell it to stop extruding. And that's one of the features I love on this Anycubic Viper. So when I'm happy that it's through, I'm going to stop that process and let's start the print process. So I'm going to take my SD card, the one that I've just copied the files across to, plug it into the printer. I'm going to select the print. I'm going to tell it what I want to print, which is Spidey Head New there. Print, print, job done. Simple as that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'll just take that little bit of filament out there that I don't need. And now the printer will start it's magic. Now the thing I really like about the Anycubic Viper is that the filament sticks to the bed wonderfully. This metallic flexible bed is absolutely excellent for the filament to stick. No Pritt stick, no hairspray, no uh, printer's tape. It's just straight on there and away we go. And that's the process. Um, we'll come back to it in a few hours to see how it's getting on, but I'm quite confident with this Anycubic Viper. It's not let me down yet, and, and I have had it about a month now. I'm just going to leave it to print Spidey Head there. Now, it depends on what your printer is. If you've got an Ender or you've got uh, an Elegoo or whatever you've got, you'll have your own method of printing, but this is how I do it on my Anycubic Viper. Um, and let's come back in, a, in an hour or two and see how this print is getting on. It's always worth just watching it for the first few minutes just to make sure that the print uh, that the filament is going down that everything's working that there's no major dramas or problems and so far so good let's come back later And there he is. It's all done. One of the other things I love about my Anycubic Viper is look at that pop and it's off the build plate. That magnetic build plate is just amazing. And I'm really pleased with how Spidey's turned out. I'm going to take all the supports off him, which will take me a couple of seconds to do. And I'm going to sort out a little bit of the stringing on him from the printing. I can't really moan at that though. It's been easy, no supports. I'm just going to take my trusty Dremel and give him a bit of a clean all over. And uh, and he's done. It's as simple as that. That is how we go from an STL file to a simple Spider-Man head. And I hope you've enjoyed the process today. Now, if you like what you see today, subscribe to the channel. If you want to uh, join the Patreon, you'd be more than welcome to. All the details you need is in the item description. Um, comment, like, share. Tell me what you think. If you made one of these, what would you do differently? Would you do anything differently? Well, something I've done a little bit different with it is just popped a light underneath. It's one of my LED lights, one of my remote control ones. And at night time, oh, wow. Isn't that going to look amazing? Hope you've enjoyed today. Hope to see you next time on Greedy 3D.